So like clockwork, pun intended, there's two things that we can expect that happen twice a year here in Southern California, and that's changing our clocks by an hour. Yes, in the spring and the fall, we spring up an hour. In the fall, we go back an hour. We fall back an hour. Uh, my name is Lane Stone. I'm a local broker here in Southern California, and I want to go over six additional tasks that you should be thinking about when you're changing those clocks. All right, so let's start with number one air filters for your HVAC system. Yes, twice a year and maybe even a little bit more often if you do have pets that have that shed quite a bit, uh, think about changing those air filters. And the good rule of thumb is to do them when you're changing the clocks as well. Uh, it could prevent uh, further damage to your HVAC system. It can have them run a little bit more efficient and it keeps everything clean, especially if you're somebody like myself who uh, is a little bit more prone to allergies during some allergy seasons. That would be a great time to consider changing the air filters at a minimum twice a year, spring and fall. Uh, the next thing are your smoke and carbon monoxide detector batteries. Some of us are hardwired in. Some of us have those 10-year lithium-ion batteries. A lot of us still have those uh, just regular batteries in our systems, and you don't want the beeping to go off in the middle of the night. You want to stay safe and secure. So yes, it's a, just even if you don't have to replace them, check them. And a good rule of thumb is to do that twice a year. And so why not do them in the spring and the fall when you're also changing those clocks? Another one I want to talk to you about, and it's something that I learned the hard way by personal example, and those are cranking the angle stop valves. We have quarter turn valves or, or half turn valves, uh, and those are in our bathrooms and our kitchens, wherever there's a water supply. There's If you have a hot and water, there's going to be two. Toilet, there's going to be one. Uh, so you're going to have several angle stop valves throughout the home, depending on how many sinks and bathrooms are in your home. Um, and it's a good rule of thumb twice a year, maybe to give those a little crank, prevent corrosion, prevent uh, some buildup, prevent them from sticking and, and not being able to uh, crank them when you do need to crank them. And then for like myself, they I did have a leak at my angle stop valve in one of the toilets, at one of the toilets, and it caused a big mess. And I didn't listen to this advice. And this advice comes from one of our local home inspectors here. So listen carefully to these. And, and a good rule of thumb, again, when you're going around the home and changing the clocks, uh, whether it's the microwave or your home clocks or your range, you know, consider doing these extra steps here. Uh, and moving on, we're going to be talking about cleaning, right? So let's talk about cleaning the pantry. It's always nice to clean your pantry out twice a year. And what better feeling is it when you after you clean the pantry? I mean, it just feels like everything's organized. Life feels better. So yes, twice a year at least, think about cleaning out your pantry. If you're getting, if there's if there's some canned food items that you have that may be close to expiration, but but not quite there, those might be good items for your local food bank too. If you know that you're not going to be able to use them before expiration, because there might be somebody that could really use the um, that that food right so again think about cleaning your pantry twice a year the next one are your gutters so think about cleaning your gutters twice a year again in the spring in the fall obviously in the fall it, when those leaves change and it gets a little windy a lot of leaves go in there and you might be approaching a little bit rainier of a season towards the winter time here in southern california so make sure those gutters are clean and then also in the spring April showers, bring May flowers, you're gonna have some rain in the spring as well. So after you have maybe a, a windy winter, get those rain gutters uh, cleaned up too. So those good rule of thumb, cleaning out your rain gutters uh, in the spring and the fall. And what happens in the spring and the fall? Reverting back to uh, time change. So again, these are some things that you need to be thinking about in addition to changing your clocks. And then we're gonna round out this list with the last one. And those are cleaning out, your, cleaning your windows. Uh, whether you do them yourself or get them professionally clean, it's always nice to think about doing those at least twice a year. Uh, uh, spring is traditionally the best time to clean your windows. Another Another good rule of thumb and something to consider, especially here in Southern California, is maybe cleaning them in the late summer to early fall. And the reason why we mentioned this one, unfortunately, over the last couple of years, we have had some fires here in Southern California and the buildup and the ash that and the debris that has been attached to our windows uh, could cause some long term damage. So it might be nice to get those cleaned up. But then also, if you get them clean before the winter, you might be thinking, OK, well, we're going to have a lot of wind and a lot of rain coming anyway. So what's the point of cleaning them now? But with the time change, especially in the fall, it gets darker a lot earlier. So the cleaner your windows are during this time, the more light tends to come in. So that might be something to consider. And you might be surprised how long those windows stay clean, even during a rain or during a windy period. So it might be a good time and a good 
uh, thought to get those windows cleaned twice a year. So in recapping the list from the top, we have, uh, in addition to switching your clocks, we have changing the batteries on your smoke and carbon monoxide detectors. We have changing the filters for your HVAC system. We have cranking your angle stop valves. We have cleaning the pantry, the gutters, the windows. These are all tasks that we should have on our list automatically in addition to changing the clocks. Again, my name is Lane Stone. I'm a real estate broker here in Southern California. If you have any comments or questions or uh, anything to add to the list, please we'd love to hear your comments below as always subscribe to the, uh, our channel to get more informative videos like this in the near future I promise we'll keep them quick and informative thank you so much for watching we'll see you later